Hello and welcome to The Breakdown where we look back at the weekend's happenings in this Dialogue Rugby A Division League 2016-17 where we break down all the action that happened over the last four games with Sabir and myself. Uh, Sabir, we'll start with Police versus Navy and a 29 points away win for Navy, 29 points to 8. At halftime it was 14-8 in favour of the Navy lads and they scored four good tries, Satya Ranatunga, Lee Keegal, Dulanjana Vijay Singh and Chanaka Chandimal scoring the tries. Last year's top point scorer Tirina Veerasinghe already getting the points on the board with three conversions and a penalty and for police Udara Surya Peruma scored one try and Rajita Sanzoni got over one penalty but a very good away win for uh, Navy in really difficult conditions. It is indeed Shanaka. In fact uh, Navy was playing with so much uh, position and so much uh, uh, confident with their forwards because uh, last year we saw that they had a good side but they were not well gelled but this time around they have gelled as well as they have drilled well uh, compared to their uh, opposite forwards on that day but they played with so much patience that's what uh, which was a good sign in the second half especially they didn't concede a single try for uh, try order points for police sports club yeah i think the difference uh, from all the teams that we have seen over the course of this weekend uh, sabir i think conditioning wise navy are at their peak uh, right now whether it's too early or too late we'll have to wait and see but from all the eight teams that we have seen in action navy as far as the forwards are concerned their technique wise and conditioning wise they are around the park everywhere in really difficult underfoot conditions. I thought they were really outstanding and that's where they uh, won the game by 29 points to 8. Police have absolutely no chance. That's right, Chanaka. Also, uh, one thing is impressive about Radisha Seniratna. He started from where he left last season. He was going to using his lower center of gravity, taking two turnovers. And also that uh, knock-on, uh, the try was disallowed from the TMO review by Lee Kegel. Perhaps it could be one he was trying to scoop through the ball uh, on that occasion from Satya Ranatunga. So he's still there, he's still fit, which is a good sign. But uh, we saw Mushin Falil doing well, Mohamed Abzal doing pretty well last season, but they're a bit out of place this time around. Oh, well, I think uh, the, the problem is the halves combination. Mohamed Abzal was trying to create a lot of things from the base, and I don't think this is the kind of game where he could uh, assert himself. It was the kind of the game where you needed to have patience. It was the kind of game where you needed to make sure you just played the percentages and the territory. And Sandesh Jayavikram is starting at uh, fly half his first club game. It was going to be always going to be a difficult one. And I think he had a baptism of fire as well. So that's where Police's back, uh, half back uh, combination didn't really allow Musina and Chula Susanta outside them to do anything of note. And I thought the forwards also, with the exception of uh, Diran Vandakulasuri and uh, Ramesh Acharya, uh, were a little average. I thought fitness was uh, a little bit lacking and they didn't seem to have a real plan. Uh, but as you say, a little bit of controversy with the TMO referral. It was the first referral that we have had in uh, club rugby and uh, referee Ran Kutke asking uh, Vimal Pereira uh, with the TMO's uh, decision. And uh, from the different camera angles, it looked like the ball went forward, but it could have been uh, back off the hand of Radish and Saniratta. So lots uh, to talk about there. And luckily, it wasn't in a closer game. It is indeed, and also good to see that Dulanjana Vijay Singh, Satya Ranatunga, uh, Lee Kegel all coming into action. Also, Rishi Dharmapal, he controlled the game really nicely in that difficult condition. And also, Dinusha Chaturanga started, but when Salia Handapangoda came in in the second half, he also made a few meters. It's good to see that he's back from injury after seven. Yeah, lots of experience for Navy, and I think a lot of teams have been talking about Candy, they've been talking about maybe CRNFC and Havelocks, but they've ignored Navy, and I think Navy have really sent. Uh, uh, a lesson to all the other teams saying, hey, we are here as well. Indeed. And uh, moving on to the next game, Shanaka, we had Air Force versus Havelocks at Ratnalan Air Force Grounds. Uh, Air Force 5-17 uh, in the first half and uh, uh, Havelocks winning convincingly in the se second half. Uh, in fact, it's 29 points to 5 overall score. And the try scorers of that game, Hiranta Pereira scored two tries. Dishon Pereira and uh, Shahrukh Fernando scored try apiece. And Dulaj Pereira with two conversion and a penalty. And for Air Force only, Tilna Bandara's try. Once again, uh, Shanaka, Havelocks uh, did have the position in the first half as well as in the second half. Uh, as soon as Havelocks scored the try, Air Force hit back immediately with another try. Just like in the police versus uh, Navy game where after Navy scoring, police hit back with a try immediately. But then they're lacking concentration once again. Well, I think that was more first game blues for Havelocks as well. They're still getting their, their combination sorted out. And you've got a lot of experience, but a lot of the tries came off some really individual brilliance uh, from these players who managed to leave uh, their defenders, Hiranta Pereira, Nishan Pereira, and uh, uh, Sharo also just brute strength. Uh, lots of Peter Wrights on the score sheet. I'm sure the Peters mm -hmm. fans will be very happy uh, with that. Apart from Hiranta Pereira, all the tries scored by P uh, Peter Wrights for the Havis. And uh, good to see Chamar da Dabare back in action as well. He's had a long layoff. He's concentrating on his coaching now, but it's good to see him back 
with uh, as a player as well. Actually, he did really well, Shanaka, in the Super Sevens also. I think there was a fight between him and uh, Sashan Moment, who will get that space uh, because we saw him scoring so much tries. It's good to see a national player coming back to the uh, rhythm again. If uh, Ron Ibrahim can uh, again grow him up as another elite player, it will be interesting. Uh, He's a good asset for Sri Lankan rugby. Absolutely, and unlike Sashan, he has the ability to play in the pack as well. So that's a little bit of versatility that uh, he will have. But uh, Dushman, the Priyadarshana, uh, the man of the match, they're doing a lot of work, uh, Sabir. He's a captain as well, and it's nice to see in really wet conditions. Satya Ranatunga also a tight fight forward, then Dushman, the Priyadarshana, a tight fight forward. Both those guys getting man of the match, that's really good to see. It is good to see. And also two players, uh, both Dushman Tapiridasha and last year's highest try scorer, uh, Prasad Madhusanka, because both of them can play extra 20 minutes in fact, Shanaga. Not 80 minutes, probably 100 minutes because they were so mobile. And also Dulanjan Vijay Singh was impressive as a hooker in the first week of the game. Absolutely. And uh, then we had, of course, the uh, absolute hammering. Uh, that uh, Candy handed out to uh, CH. It's very difficult to say uh, whether, uh, whether Candy were as well conditioned as Navy. That's what I was trying to check out uh, and see. But in a game where you win 96-0, it's impossible to tell whether that's good conditioning or it's just whether you're just overrunning uh, the others. And 54-0 uh, at halftime, they would have been targeting a three-figure um, three mark there. 14 tries, 13 conversions. Uh, Danushka Ranchan with four tries. Richie Dan Richard Dharmapala with two Roshan Viraat Nasir, Anthony Sasuke Jawad, and Tarid Chaturanga, Kanchan Ramanayaka on his first game for Kandy. Penalty try also scored by Kandy. Yahu Bali and Arshad Jamaldeen scoring uh, tries. Jamaldeen putting over uh, nine conversions and Tirana Vijay Singh with uh, four conversions. Danush Sharanjan winning, unsurprisingly winning the man of the match for the four tries. Uh, it is, in fact, a CH, of course, the underdog, Shanaka, but they could have, uh, in fact, the game supposed to play at Colombo, and all of a sudden, when they say on a Wednesday, that they are going to travel away, maybe they would have uh, lacked their morale, isn't it, Shana? Oh Well, I, I think that could have happened, uh, Sabir. I think that does affect people because when you're preparing for a home game against Candy, your preparation is a little bit different. But when you go up to Nittavala, it's such a difficult place to play for a visiting a visiting team. And a lot of these uh, guys are young players at uh, CHNFC. They're guys who haven't really got the kind of experience. So it's unsurprising, uh, this result, and it just shows how good uh, Candy are. Indeed. Also, there was, I saw the replay, Shanaka. Some players are playing too much selfish, uh, especially some of the Sri Lanka players. But in this uh, situation, they should have uh, understand their role play on the game. You know, it's not always playing selfish, if, especially when you play against a tough opposition, it's not always easy. Well, I, I, that's what's going to be tested when they come up against a defense that is organized, because here most of the tries that we scored, uh, that uh, Candy have um, uh, scored through guys like Danush Karanjan and Dharma Pala, they're all scored because of the individual brilliance of these players. They have one-on-one -on -one beating their defenders. And uh, that's something that's not going to happen so easily when they play. Uh, the other teams. So let's wait and see how it goes out. I'm sure uh, the candy coaches and the candy players themselves know that. So I think uh, you know they're, they're the ones to be watched out for. That's right. Uh, Danish Karanjan, of course, Sri Lanka's sevens captain scored four tries and one of the tries like, get out of my way, says Danish Karanjan. So it was brilliant performance overall. <laughs> and uh, moving on to the last game of that week, Shanaka, Army versus CRNFC. Army continuing to show some good skill. Uh, in fact, they were so brilliant in the last year, especially in the first round. And this time around, they almost made a surprise uh, win over Sia. Oh, well, absolutely. And I think Sia have only themselves to blame. They were playing at 50% uh, for pretty much all of that game. Uh, when Army got into a lead, then they woke up a little bit, but then went back to sleep, allowed Army back into the game as well. It was 7 points to 3 at half time. And even that try that was scored by Tarin Daratot was scored completely against the run of play. Army were having the dominant possession, and uh, it was a turnover. Mark Gunaratna sent uh, Tarin Daratwatta down the left flank. Uh, Rehan Silva scored a try. Dilanka Pereira, who's bulked up nicely in the offseason, also scored a try uh, for the Red Shirts. And Reza Mubarak again, uh, proving to be a match winner with two conversions and two penalties. And Army also scoring three tries through Iranga Aryapala, who was a thorn in the side all day uh, for, um, uh, for Army. Ashan Bandara, Manoj De Silva scoring the try that could have won them the game. It was 24-25 uh, when he scored that try, and uh, to, or to bring Army to 24-25 when he scored that try. And uh, Shanaka Kumaram, three conversions and one penalty. And uh, Gahan Salind also knocking over a conversion. So it was really uh, a, a, a ding-dong battle for uh, supremacy that day. And I think Army were really unlucky uh, not to win that game because they had more possession. Their lineouts were better. Uh, they, uh, they did better defending. CR just conceded some soft tries. 
and uh, should uh, should really count themselves lucky to have won that game. That's right. Uh, Amir put so much pressure in the second half, Shana, compared to the first half. But uh, talking about Dikkumra, he was so outstanding with his high ball collection and some face running. And I saw him also putting a grubber and chasing. Uh, it's not the huge kicks that he put. He saw the space and he's uh, using, he's putting Sashan Mohamed on quest. Yeah, um, Dikkumra and uh, Arya Pala were both really good. And uh, Ami are really unlucky if Arya Pala is out for a long term. Uh, hamstring injury, which is what it looked like when he went down. But I think Army really have the makings of a good side because Mohamed Rizvi is playing much better than he did uh, last season. He seems to have a bit more confidence. He seems to have an idea of how to control a game now better than he did last year. And together with him and Ashan Bandar, I think look out for this Army team. So uh, that's all for the uh, breakdown segment. We analyze all four games of week one of Dialogue Rugby League. And we also have the coming week fixtures, Shyanagar. Police versus uh, Havelocks at Police Park and Air Force versus Candy. Sia versus Navy. That's at Valisad on Sunday. Also, another game on Sunday. CH versus Army. Predictions? Yeah, going to be a tough uh, few games. Uh, police versus Havelocks. I think uh, Havelocks will have a little bit too much uh, for police, judging on the available evidence. And uh, Candy are obviously going to uh, be a real threat to Air Force. I'd be very surprised if Air Force managed to uh, score more than 10 points in that game. And uh, Navy versus Sia, once again, going to be the pick of the games, I think, uh, especially with Sia traveling to Navy with a lot of young players, it's going to be very difficult because that forward pack of Navies is going to take some stopping. And, and they also have a very good bench strength, so if I'm already coming back. Absolutely. So lots of, uh, lots of work to be done in the tight five. So Sia will do well to try and keep them away from that kind of contact. And uh, CH Army at race course should be an interesting one. CH will want to score their first points of the season and I'm sure that uh, they will come in uh, with a much better mindset for that game than traveling to Kandy. All right, so that's all we have for the breakdown segment and until next week, uh, I'm Sabir Kadis signing off with Shana Kamar Singh.